underwater TNT. Guys, that's right, we got underwater TNT. Comes with the beta edition of the aquatic stuff with the chemistry and the EDU update. Notice that, lots of fun. <laughs> Hey there guys, Skippy here for room Skippy6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you with a cool kind of tutorial session. We got all of that new beta stuff coming out. So uh, basically, when you have the new beta with uh, Windows 10, uh, MCPE, Xbox One, it comes with the opportunity for experimental gameplay and edu edition so i'm just going to go in here and show you guys you got to go into your settings before you make the world you got to turn on experimental gameplay right here of course and you got to turn on education edition just like that once you do that the world has now been open to tons and tons of stuff so for this one here guys let's go for 471 likes i'll take that it's a lot it's underwater tnt i think we're gonna have a hard time getting there but hey that's okay so uh let's uh let's do this so basically guys we're gonna look at some of this new edu stuff uh let's see i'm not in creative what what the heck's going on this guy here so as you can see when you have the edu it brings on a bunch of new stuff um i'm doing a few videos so i go over a few of them here and there but you'll notice we have new elements uh we have uh, a ton of stuff like that it's really cool and it goes much further in depth so uh to make this underwater tnt which is pretty cool because uh, we're gonna need this guy right here element constructor so we're gonna put it down for the first time it's definitely in your creative menu what does this element constructor do well the key to this element constructor is if you don't want to go you know through your menu here and grab whatever element you need to make something uh, this is how you make something so let's go in here and let's construct what we need for the underwater TNT so uh, what we're gonna do in the element constructor for P E N N is we're gonna put all of these guys to 11 bring it down one let's do it over here two one two three revise six seven eight nine ten eleven one more time one two three revise six seven eight nine ten eleven and there you go so we have an element number eleven and a sodium and once you get sodium this is pretty funny because that's how you make tnt underwater tnt so a good example of this is if you see regular tnt underwater and you try to light it it will light but it won't explode nothing as you know we've used this to uh, protect from creepers things like that and it does it but that's pretty funny because if you go in a crafting table and you mix sodium with TNT then it's underwater TNT and it's funny because sodium is salt and salt is known to take away water I'm pretty sure or in my opinion and anyway all you got to do is take these items right here let's see if I can't uh, yep bring it here go into a crafting table throw your TNT right in here and then throw your sodium on top this is really cool because now you can blow up things underwater take this guy out and yeah so it's pretty cool I like it. This leaves way, you know, if you ask me, I think it leaves a lot of room for clearing underwater because lately, guys, not lately, but think about how fast you could clear out a guardian farm. You know what I mean? Instead of all that sand and sponges and I don't know. There you go, guys. Now you know how to make underwater TNT. It does clear out areas pretty good. I mean, if you really wanted to, I don't want to lag this world out too hard because I have experimental gameplay and EDU on. So maybe it'll crash, but whatever. Let's just do it. But you can see clearing that much stuff underwater actually could be quite a lot of work. Look at that. Oh, man, that's super cool, guys. Don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for some uh, more cool tutorials. Guys, this beta is super fun. Update Aquatic. Uh, more chemistry stuff coming. And, yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.